Let's go. This is the first time I've done anything like this. Yep. Oh my god. Your job is in jeopardy or is your business income reduction keeping you awake seat tonight? Belt. We're in yep. the best time in 25 years to make a fortune in real estate without using your money. Is that a backup camera that does? Wow, it's really loud. All right, you ready? So we'll probably go around and stop somewhere and switch around. I'll show you how to get everything set up and yeah. Probably should be in like an empty parking lot first. Yep, absolutely. Because you definitely don't want the first time you drive a Lamborghini to be on a main road. Yep. And so this car is very low up front, so like yeah. stuff like this, we got to be very, very careful to go. Yeah. You know, sideways. I know some so. cars have the um, thing where you're able to raise the suspension on it. This one has it. Uh, it's this button right here. Okay. So that, but the, usually you use that for like you know driveways and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Zero to sixty on a hurricane. I forget. This one is is quite quick, uh, especially because this has the uh, um, all-wheel drive. So that was actually on Strata, which changes kind of you know, the different yeah. settings. But I put it on Sport now. Isn't Strata like a, the comfort mode? Strata is, means street, so it's like you know yeah. comfort and you know drive it every day type of deal. Visibility is surprisingly good at the back. It's not incredibly bad, right? So let me put it on park right here. Hit this button here. What's that M button do? The M is the manual. Okay. So uh, and it kind of just you know even if it's on manual, it kind of shifts for you a little bit. But I don't know the up shifts. Mm -hmm. So um, we're probably gonna keep it on auto. Oh, yeah. Ready? I guess. Yeah. All right. As soon as the engine brakes and shifts down, it, the, the compression of the engine is actually slowing you down quite a bit. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I've seen videos of like an Audi Quattro like rally doing that. Yeah. And it's like, I never understood, like why does it keep like, it's kind of skirting like that. Yeah, yeah. This way. It's like a video game, <laughs> like on that. Right, you got all the dash. gauges and... Yeah, I know, I've seen the Aventador SV's gauges, and it's like, it's even crazier than that, because it's got like, 
I don't know. What were you gonna say? No, I mean even the steering wheel is like a like a PlayStation steering wheel, right? It is. It's, it's like just... everything about it. It's so stiff and like just refined, kind uh -huh. of. Never driven in a Audi R8. No, not the R8. That's one of my like like those like dream cars, kind yeah. of. Yep. I mean, this is pretty much yeah, this the is same perfect. chassis, the same yeah, you know engine and, and everything. I heard VW, since they own both Lambo and uh, Audi, they actually kind of flexed the numbers on the R8 so that it seemed worse in the car. You can let, let them go by, because this bird is now. Like, you, want, you want me to open yours? Uh, a little bit, like just crack it. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a switch. Wow, they just did everything crazy in here. So if you want to let the minivan go a little bit, and don't nail it, but you know, put a little bit of juice into it once you get straight. at these kinds of cars a lot? A lot yeah, of them. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it probably looks real crazy to a person just seeing like a 17 year old kid driving yeah. a hurricane. Yeah. Where do we pull in? I think it's right where we were before. Alright. Great. And then we're gonna hit the park. Park. parking brake. Uh, parking brake. And um you want to rev it a little bit or? Sure. How much should I rev it? Like? Whatever you feel comfortable with. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> now you gotta work hard and get one of these, right? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> 